Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we are continuing our SnowRunner Let's Play. It seems like all I play at the moment is SnowRunner but I'm absolutely loving this game. If you guys haven't bought it and you are considering it, I would definitely recommend going and buying it. Uh, and also, if you haven't watched the last episodes, then I will leave um, a playlist in the description for you to go and watch. Uh, I've made about 10 episodes so far on SnowRunner. I'm really enjoying this game. So if you want to go and check those out, then definitely do that. But in the last episode, we went and rescued this ANK MK38 right here. It's an awesome vehicle. I've not actually driven it at all, I just recovered it to the garage here and I want to go and customise it today. So the plan for today is firstly to customise the ANK right here, but I asked you guys in the last episode what you wanted to see me do in this episode and you all seem to love it when I go and find new trucks in this game. And there was one truck in particular that you all really really wanted to see. Yes, today we are going to go and see if we can rescue the Twin Steer. Now, if you don't know what this vehicle is, I'll have a picture of it on screen here. This thing is an absolute beast. Apparently, it's incredible at off-roading, although it is a little bit long. It's basically a limo, but this thing is a massive flatbed truck. It can haul cargo like nothing else in this game, and it looked like a really cool truck, so I wanted to go and find it. So I thought the best truck is the new truck that we just discovered. So let's go and customize the ANK here and get it ready to go exploring. All right, so we're in the workshop engines. There's not gonna be any engines we can put in this thing at the moment. Although eventually we can go and put a V12 in this thing, which is absolutely incredible. Gearbox, we can't do anything with that. We did, in the last episode, discover the raised suspension, so we could put that on. Um, in fact, yeah, I think I'm going to. Tyres, let's see what we can do in here. So, uh, these are all going to be highway tyres, obviously. Uh, we can fit some bigger tyres on there. I think the stock wheels are actually the best off-road wheels that we can get. That's these tyres right here. The on-road is average, off-road is excellent, and mud is good. So that sounds good to me. I'm going to leave those on. Um, actually, just see if there's any more that we can get. Oh, we can actually get these big ones, which are exactly the same. On-road, average, off-road, excellent, mud, good, but they're just a little bit bigger. So yeah, why not? Let's chuck those on there. The winch, we can't upgrade the winch yet. The spare wheel, we can get a spare wheel, but I've not really seen any need for the spare wheel, so if you guys know the purpose of the spare wheel, then please let me know, because I would like to find out. The snorkel, we can fit a snorkel on the thing, although it does already have one attached to it. You can see just there on the side. You can have the tall flat cap or the stock, or you can have this like weird front facing one. I think we'll just leave the stock one on there. Then in visuals, we've got the exhaust. Uh, we can have this wedge cap exhaust. Looks a little bit funky if you ask me. We can have the muzzle exhaust, which is like, <laughs> almost looks like a steam engine. We can have the heat shield exhaust. I do quite like that. Or we can have the stock exhaust. The stock exhaust looks a little bit homemade, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we've not unlocked these two yet. I would go for this, but we've not unlocked it yet, and I don't really like the wedge cap one, so we'll just leave the stock one on there. Miscellaneous, we can get a caged beacon, we can get tri-square beacons, we can have small parking lights, an external horn, twin horns, beacons and fog lights, or roof fog lights. Um, I would go for those. I do love some roof fog lights, but they're locked, so fortunately we can't do that. Front bumper, we have got a number of different front bumpers. So we've got the heavy duty. That actually looks really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, we've got the heavy duty pipe. 
kind of looks a little bit funky. I'm not too keen on that. The trapezium, mm, uh, the hinged, that also looks a bit funky. The single bar kind of looks similar to the heavy duty pipe. Oh, we've got the stock. I actually really like this heavy duty one. It looks really cool. And it actually does give us a bit more ground clearance. Actually, not really, but I'm going to stick that on because it's only 800 credits. So, And then on the front side, we've got the threshold step things. Just makes your truck lower, so I'm not going to be putting those on. And we can have the chrome cap with beacon windshield. Don't really think that works on this truck. We can... Oh, we can't actually change up the rims, but I do quite like these rims just how they are So we will leave them on there And the final thing we can go ahead and paint this thing it comes stock with this awesome looking camo livery And uh, if we actually scroll down here, there are some more camo liveries so we can get like a desert camo We can get like a dark sort of foresty looking uh, camo we can get like um a meadow camo i guess you'd call that i don't really know you can get like the blue camo or you can have the stock sort of green and brown woodlandy camo but i actually want to paint this thing white because i've seen a few photos of this thing um on the internet and it looks absolutely awesome in white so i'm going to paint it white and that is going to be it for the customization. This thing has been raised quite a lot. It looks massive with those tyres. Uh, but today we are actually going to be travelling to a brand new map as well. We're going to be travelling over here to Island Lake. Because that is where the twin steer is. So we have to make it over to that tunnel. Alright, we're out of the garage. And uh, driving the ANK. This thing smokes a lot. So I'm just going to hope we can at least make it to Island Lake and then um, hopefully we can find a fuel trailer there or we can, you know, find somewhere to fill up. We've already used 10 litres of fuel in this thing. As I said, this thing is an absolute beast. It's got diff locks, it's got all-wheel drive, it's got massive um, mud tyres on it, it's got a lift kit on it. And we can cart stuff in the back. So this thing is an absolute beast off-roader. Alright, onto the dirt for the first time. Not really difficult dirt by any stretch. But we'll see what it does here. We're going past the soggy bales again. The half sunken bales. Yeah, so because this thing has all-wheel drive and diff locks permanently on, it chews through fuel. We've already gone through 19 litres, and we've barely travelled anywhere. Alright, we've reached that water crossing that we uh, came to in one of the previous episodes, actually when we went and rescued the Transtar. Um, the car made it across here with ease and uh, I mean this thing's it's not even worried about this river crossing it is smoking like a train but yeah it's not really having any issues with this so we're on the Drummond Island map at the moment and I have to say I mean just look at this scenery it is absolutely incredible what the um, snowrunner maps have to offer especially the michigan maps i have to say they are the nicest they look absolutely picturesque i mean just look at that it's incredible also when i uh, accelerate it puffs a big load of smoke out the side and i can't actually see where i'm going which is quite funny it's quite amusing with this truck well it's made it up that almost sheer cliff face slope with absolute ease but we only have 147 litres of fuel and you say well that's a lot of fuel and yeah it'll probably get us to Lake Island but I don't know how much further it's going to get us after that alright we're going to turn to the right down here it's even signposted for us and there's some lovely tarmac as well 
And here we go, we're going to be traveling to Lake Island, or Island Lake, as it says there. And here we go, loading into Lake Island. I've not been to this map yet. It's the very, very first time that I've been to this map, so I have no idea what to expect. In a future episode, we might go and uh, uncover these watchtowers. But today we're going to go and see if we can discover the Twin Steer. Right, I've just had a very brief look at the map. And um, I think we want to be heading this way, down this path. There is also a watchtower up here. So we might be able to go and discover that as well. This looks like some very swampy ground up ahead. It kind of looks like the swamp that we uh, pulled the Transtar out of. It doesn't look very fun, actually. So we're just going to take it slowly. In fact, there's the watchtower up ahead as well. So if we go there, we should hopefully be able to see a bit better on the map where we're heading. Alright, we're just approaching the watchtower. It does seem to be in this very swampy area, but luckily the road I've been travelling on, um, it's quite muddy, but these tyres have good mud um, capability, so that's at least something. And there we go. So, let's see if we can see... We might be able to see the Twin Star from here. The twin Steer, sorry. No, we can't. But it is actually just up here if we carry on on this road uh, in fact here it is the twin steer it's right here it's actually right near the tunnel so this is the tunnel where we came in from Smithville Dam you literally just follow this road and it is right there now I have seen photographs and um, gameplay of this truck I believe it is actually broken when we get here so we're gonna have to fix the thing up um, but it's actually based off a real truck. It is a real truck in real life. Um, so if you just search in Google Twin Steer, it will actually come up with some real images. And in fact, here it is. What a beast this thing is. This thing looks absolutely awesome. Look at that. Oh my god. That's massive. Can we actually swap into it? No, we can't swap into it yet. Okay. But, we have discovered it, and there's a task for us to do here, and this is where we go ahead and fix it up. So it says, Man, it's a crying shame the way that some people treat their stuff. This truck must have been a cowboy Cadillac back in the day. Now it's a total heap. If you can get it out of here, maybe I can get it running again. So yes, we're definitely going to accept that. Um, so we can't actually swap into it, can we? No, we can't swap into it. But that is another reason why I wanted to bring the ANK here, is because um, we're going to tow this thing, believe it or not. Right, I'm just having a little bit of a look on the map, because uh, we only have 96 litres of fuel left, which is not as much as I would like, honestly. Um, but luckily there is a fuel carrying trailer right over here so we're gonna just leave the twin star there for the moment and um, we're actually gonna go and get the fuel carrying trailer and refuel this thing before we start towing the big twin star right we're saying goodbye to the twin star just for the moment we are gonna be coming back and rescuing it but you can see now we're only down to 90 litres of fuel. So we've got just under half of our fuel left. Um, which is not really great. So we are going to just fuel this thing up. I'm going to bring the fuel trailer over with us. And hopefully we might be able to attach it to the back of the twin steer as well. So we can tow the twin steer with the ANK. And the twin steer can also pull the fuel trailer. That is the plan. Whether it'll work, I have absolutely no idea, but hopefully we should at least be able to fuel the ANK and pull the twin steer out. 
we're just approaching the twin steer once again. If I don't roll the thing, that was very close to rolling. And I've towed the fuel carrier over here. We have actually used 51 litres of fuel, or 52 now, just to make it back to here. So that was a bit of a trek. Um, but luckily we do have the fuel trailer here to help us out. I'm just going to fill up the ANK once again um, So we've got a little bit of a shuffle to do now. I Don't know if we can even tow anything with the twin steer. I'm hoping we can So the plan is to move this thing over to there the fuel trailer. I mean Pull the twin steer forward, attach the fuel trailer to the twin steer, and then pull the whole shebang with the ANK. So, providing everything goes smoothly, I'll see you when it's done. Right, everything has not gone smoothly. Apparently, um, we can't actually tow this thing out of here. I've just given it a little attempt, and uh, this thing is a bit of a beached whale I'm gonna be honest I mean I know it was broken but I didn't think it would be this much of an issue I was hoping we could at least tow the thing out now something that I have learned is the trucks have a little bit more torque in reverse than they do forwards I don't know why but they do so I'm gonna give it another attempt in reverse and there we go actually it has managed to pull it out so I don't know why it couldn't pull it in forwards, the trucks just seem to have a little bit more torque in reverse. So if you are in a bit of a predicament, you've got to pull a truck out and it won't pull out. Another little off-roading tip for you, stick it in reverse and give it another try and I bet it works. Right, so I've discovered another little issue. I thought we were going to attach the trailer to the twin steer. Number one, I don't think the twin steer actually has a tow bar at the back. I can't tell, but I don't think it does. And number two, I just realised I can't actually switch into the twin star to attach the trailer. So basically that was all for nothing. But while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and um, refuel the, the ANK. Uh, we've got 200 litres of fuel, so hopefully it's not too far um, as we saw on the way down here so hopefully it shouldn't be too much of an issue let's attach that to there right we can now pull it forward I think it was just in a bit of a bog where it was parked so that's fine if we can just get this thing back to um, Smithfield Dam uh, the tunnel is right near the swamp, which is where I left the service trailer from when we went and rescued the Transtar, so we might just get this thing over to there and then see if we can tow the Service trailer over to this thing and then we might be able to drive it for the rest of the route Something I have just noticed as well is I know I'm driving in low range because I keep sort of spinning so I've just left it in low range now uh, but our fuel economy has gone down dramatically because we're pulling this thing uh, we've already used 30 litres of fuel and we've literally travelled about 500 metres it's really not very good but you know right don't get stuck on that tree twin steer for god's sake we're just winching ourselves into it. Oh, it can actually just crush that down. Ooh. We're getting a little bit close to rolling the thing there. Okay, right, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna attempt that. Um, it's gone down a bit of a ditch. Right, let's see if we can pull this thing over. Attach that to there. There we go. If we can just pull it forwards a little bit and then we might be able to attach it to the front again. Hopefully it doesn't 
get stuck on this lamppost here. I have a feeling it will. Actually, we don't even need to do that because we're close enough now to travel to Smithsville Dam. I don't know whether we can actually take this thing on the winch. I'm just going to try it. Alright, I've travelled to Smithsville Dam. You can see we're back here. And uh, the twin steer did actually come with us. So that's another little off-roading tip. If you were wondering, you can actually tow broken trucks across the maps with the winch, which is really useful actually. I didn't really think that would work, but it did. Uh, the only thing is the wheels on the twin steer have glitched out just a little bit. It's a bit stuck in the ground, so I'm hoping that isn't going to affect me pulling it out hopefully it's just gonna ping up yeah, oh not quite as much as I was expecting that um, yeah that did just damage that thing a lot but if we can just get it onto this road um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the service trailer which is actually just up the road in the swamp and we're gonna see if we can drive the twin steer back to the garage Right, we're just arriving here now with the Royal BM and the service trailer on the back. It was a lot of effort to get these two here. Um, but we are here now, nonetheless. So uh, we've got the spare wheel that we need on uh, with the service trailer, basically. And we've got more than enough fuel in the... Uh, in the Royal BM here. So the service trailer we want to target the Western Twin Steer Fix the last wheel up and refuel the thing and Hopefully we should be good to go then Let's fuel the thing right up and there we go Check it out. This old girl still has some life left in her after all we can't find a VIN number, but nobody's going to miss an old heap anyway. Find this keep, as I always say. Can we actually change to it? Yes, we can. What an absolute beast. It looks a little bit broken at the back here. I'm not going to lie. Um, but this thing does... Okay, so it doesn't have all-wheel drive, but it does have engageable diff lock. Does it have diff lock in the front or just in the rear? looks like it's just in the rear I think you can get all-wheel drive on this thing um, as an upgrade so yeah let's start the thing up and let's have a little drive oh my god it is literally like driving a limo if if a truck was a limo this is like basically what it would be this is a truck version of a limo I have no idea how good the wheels are on this thing they might be shocking um, but we're gonna see if we can get this thing back to the garage so we're over here we have to make it to the garage which is over here and the nicest route seems to be through the swamp and hopefully we can get it up here onto the road then it's just a main road so we're gonna follow the same sort of route that we did with the twin steer uh, with the trans star sorry uh, so hopefully Hopefully this thing will be able to move under its own power though. I mean, the turning radius you can see is absolutely massive. That's hilarious. We're still not on the road. I mean, it's got four wheel steer at the front, which is awesome. I have no idea what the, um, the tires are like, whether they're any good or not. We have at least got diff locks, so that is something, and we do have a winch, obviously. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to stick over this way a little bit. This thing seems to be okay. Yeah, I think we've bombed out there. Um, hopefully we can go and winch to that tree there. Perfect. Okay, so we can just drag its belly across the ground a little bit. Not really what I want to do, but I guess that's what we have to do. And apparently my steering has gone. 
I am steering fully to the left at the moment, but nothing is happening. Right, we're approaching the mm, a bit horrible incline, but before we get to that, we have to sort of make it around a quite tight to uh, corner. So this bit of hill here is okay. The next bit of hill onto the road is not so nice. That's quite bad. Right, the final challenge before we get onto the tarmac is going up this incline. It's not really that big, but it's big enough for this truck. I have a feeling getting up here is going to be okay. It's the top bit here where we could bottom out. I think that's going to be the issue. This thing actually has pretty good ground clearance for what it is. So, yeah, I think we're going to get to about here. And then we might bottom out. Come on. Okay, that was actually pretty good. I was not expecting that, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, we'll go for a reverse. <laughs> and there we go, we are on the road. That was not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. And the rest of the way is completely on tarmac, so we shouldn't have any issues. And we're going across the dam. Uh, one thing I did forget was the quite tight corner here on the dam. So we're going to have to take this really wide. It might be a bit of a three-point turn job. I don't know how it's going to cope with this. Ooh, just clonk the engine a little bit. Alright, let's start turning in now. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a three-point turn job. I probably could have taken that a bit shallower. I went a bit extreme there, but... There we go. We just dinged the front a little bit, but it's all right. We made it round there. And here we are, just driving into the garage area for the first time in the massive twin steer absolute beast vehicle let's get this thing into the garage and there we go fully repaired and fuel has been restored as well what an absolute beast truck i really love this thing it's absolutely incredible and i know some of you guys will be curious it sells for 118,000 credits which is quite a lot in this game um so if some of you want to go and get this truck then it is definitely worth getting the truck i'm not going to be selling this thing because i think it's absolutely awesome i want to keep it uh, but if you're debating whether to go and get this thing even if you're not going to use it definitely go and get it because the sell price alone is incredible for this vehicle uh, but it wouldn't be a video if we didn't finish off with some customizing now there isn't much customization on this thing which is kind of to be expected um, the engine we can actually go and fit it with a better engine uh, so the power to weight increases and the durability but the fuel consumption goes down a little bit I honestly didn't think the fuel consumption was that bad so we're gonna stick the V16 engine in there that's absolutely incredible gearbox can't upgrade that the raised suspension we can actually raise the suspension on this thing so you can make this thing a bit taller we have to explore alaska to find that uh, the tires there are a bunch of tires that you can go and get um, the tires that it has on as standard are good on road good off road and mud is average just in case you were wondering we got some big 55 inch wheels on there but we can actually go and put some 63 inch wheels on there these ones are absolutely massive uh, I think they'd work better with the lift kit on the winch we can go and upgrade the winch we can actually get a twin motor um, heavy winch because this thing is so heavy you actually need like a twin winch to lift this thing out you can actually stick a spare wheel on the thing which is quite cool 
Uh, engageable diff locks, we already have that. Um, we already have that applied. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get all-wheel drive. We can fit a snorkel to this thing. You can fit two massive snorkels to it. You can get the two wedge cap snorkels, which are even bigger. Or you can get the stock air filters. The stock air filters are pretty high out of the water. So I'm just going to leave those on there. Visual stuff. There is some visual stuff. Sadly, there is no um, frame add-ons for this thing. It would have been awesome if we could have got some frame add-ons, but unfortunately not. Well, we can upgrade the exhaust. We can put these heat shield exhausts, which look absolutely crazy. We can have the muzzle exhausts, which look even more crazy. Uh, we can have the outrolled exhausts. Or we can have the stock ones. I actually love these muzzle exhausts. On a truck like this, it just looks right. Um, but we they're locked at the moment. So when we unlock those, I'll definitely be putting them on. Miscellaneous. We can get triple horns. Or we can just get the sort of normal horns. On a truck like this, you've got to go with the triple horns. Uh, rooftop. We can get the uh, factory beacons. We can get fog lights on the front of this thing. That looks crazy, so yeah, I'm going to put those on. And you can get fog lights with beacons. On the front bumper, you can get the reinforced bar. It looks like something out of Mad Max. Uh, you can get the heavy duty pipe. You can get the hinged. And you can get the heavy duty, which is what is sort of as standard. I don't really like any of those. I just like the uh, sort of one it has applied already. On the front side, you can get a sun visor, or you can have the stock sun visor. I'm just going to leave the stock sun visor. And there are a couple of different rims you can get for this thing. You can have the stock rims, or you can have these. actually quite like those, so I think we'll put them on there. And finally, we can go ahead and paint the thing. So there's all the usual stock colours, but then you can get the two-tone light blue and dark blue, the two-tone green and grey. You can get white and red, you can get red and black, or you can get the stock black and yellow. I think actually just the yellow and black that it has on from stock looks the best, so I'm just going to leave that on there. And that is the thing fully customised. There's not much to customise on this thing, but I have to say it is an awesome vehicle, absolutely incredible. Um, thank you to whoever suggested that I go and recover this thing. It was definitely worth it. It's an absolutely awesome vehicle. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you want to see me do in the next episode. And we'll probably be taking the twin stay here and doing some missions with it. I have a feeling that you guys will feel the same. But definitely let me know what you want me to do. Also, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe as well. That would be greatly appreciated. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.